What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here back with another specialist guide and today we are going to be taking a look at the new Reaper specialist in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 but I do have to put an asterisk by new because we've already had Reaper from the previous Call of Duty Black Ops game however the robot does operate a little bit differently this time around so let's check out Experimental War Robot 115. The Experimental War Robot 115 was the product of cutting edge military research and development to assist Spec Ops soldiers in combat and was the greatest advancement of sophisticated AI software that the world has ever seen before. But after several politically embarrassing mishaps and budget issues, the project was soon cancelled, leaving most of the prototypes to be stripped for parts. However, a few years later, some of the robots were discovered to be stolen by a group who were running an underground gambling ring, and they began to pay out astronomical sums over the machine's body count. Reaper then wanted to seek revenge on these people, so the robot went to the gambling ring and slaughtered all of the members becoming free of their control. Reaper is also known to have some degree of emotion such as anger and satisfaction. Even Prophet has described Reaper to be sentiment and even organic in some way. So Reaper definitely was kind of misunderstood. It then started to develop emotions and yeah, it actually does have no control from anybody whatsoever. Reaper is a free agent and his backstory is very very cool and yeah he's also one of my favorite characters of all time in the Black Ops universe. Um, definitely was my main back in Black Ops 3 and I'm really happy he's back in Black Ops 4. Now moving on to Reaper's arsenal, for the specialist equipment Reaper uses the Radar Shroud Dart which acts basically as the opposite to Recon Sensor Dart because it jams any UAVs, the Fog of War, or basically anything that provides intel on your minimap as long as they are within the radius. Very very frustrating to deal with because the charge time is fairly fast since you get the shroud in 2 minutes plus it's gonna last for 40 seconds and then to top that off the shroud dart covers an extremely large radius of the map and just to kind of give you a general idea here is what the radius looks like on nuketown and yeah like i said very very large so if you can run two reapers on the same team that's going to be a very deadly combo to use against the enemy team since they will constantly have minimap jammers for the duration of the game also i wouldn't recommend using a counter uav since the shroud is essentially that plus you don't get to you know get kills in order to earn the CUAV, so there's really no point in running that. Now, I definitely recommend trying to place the shroud in an area where players would not think to check, so like somewhere on top of a building, for example, just to kind of maximize the full extent of shroud. There's also some obvious counters to shroud. Basically, just run engineer, and you're going to be able to find the sensor dart anywhere on the map. Zero's EMP grenade is another good counter, so there are some easy counters to Shroud, it's just a matter of sacrificing something in return. Now Shroud also doesn't completely negate everything that gives you intel, um, Recon's vision pulse, you can still see enemy players through that, and uh, also Outrider's Hawk drone, you can still see players whenever you're inside that drone. So. Yeah, it doesn't completely counter everything in the game, but definitely it is going to be very frustrating to go against. And like I said, especially if you have two Reapers, you're going to be able to cover an extremely large portion of the map. Moving on to Reaper's specialist weapon, the robot brings out this massive heavy machine gun called the Scythe, which isn't exactly like the Scythe from Black Ops 3, but still it's somewhat similar because it does shred through enemy players, killing them in about 1-2 to two bullets. Plus, these bullets were made from the same metal as the Titan LMG with the Oppressor Operator mod, so you can shake the enemy's HUD display if the bullets fly near the player. The Scythe does decimate Torx Razor Wire and Barricade, so Torque once again gets another hard counter. Also Scythe shreds through score streaks fairly fast including the UAV so really Reaper is meant to be something to cancel out intel and any equipment that may be hindering your team from making an impact on the game. I would not recommend rushing into battle with Scythe because it does take a little bit of time before the weapon can start to shoot so definitely take your time and make sure you can move away to find cover if you need it. Scythe again very powerful and will be an issue for you and the team if you cannot counter him effectively. If you know that Reaper is using the Scythe call out his location and try to take the robot out as soon as possible because again that Scythe can decimate 
decimate your team and any score trick you may have either in the sky or on the ground. Scythe also comes with a stock of 150 rounds and it's gonna last you for 40 seconds. It doesn't matter if you're getting kills with the scythe or shooting the weapon. The only thing that will stop the scythe is if you are killed. So the time mix in with the 150 rounds plus the extreme amount of damage that scythe does makes it very very good. I recommend ADSing with scythe as well because the bullet spread becomes very tight together compared to when you hip fire the weapon. Unless maybe you find yourself in a close quarters up in your face type of gunfight but I definitely do not recommend looking for those types of battles since it will take a while for you to start to shoot the scythe. All in all, the scythe is stupidly good and there is not too much downside to using the weapon and yeah, I do think Reaper in general could be getting a nerf come in the distant future here, maybe in the next update, who knows. Um, but like I said, there really is not much downside to using Scythe, nor are there hardly any effective counters to Scythe and Reaper in general. As for my thoughts on Reaper, love the specialist character. I like how there aren't just human specialists either. It does add more lore and mystery behind the character, which if you guys watch my other guides, you know I'm a huge fan of. But a lot of people are kind of upset because Treyarch keeps adding and using old characters from Black Ops 3 and bringing them over onto Black Ops 4, which I do agree with. I would like to see more new characters for sure, but Reaper does have some new tendencies to him. It's just kind of lame to have a repeat of another character. Like, we already know a lot about Reaper. It would just be nice to have a new face around in the Black Ops universe, so hopefully in the next big operation we can have a new specialist character. Again, after doing a bunch of tests, using Reaper exclusively for a couple days now, plus the feedback from players, I can almost say with certainty that Reaper should be getting a nerf in the next big update. I can see that Radar Shroud either getting a nerf in the duration of time, or the radius size could be getting decreased a little bit. Um, the scythe may come with a little bit less amount of bullets too, so yeah. Arguably Reaper is in the top 3 a best specialist to use in Black Ops 4. I love his character dialogue as well. Even the aesthetics of Reaper such as the metal footsteps when you walk around or the oil that leaks out of him instead of blood since Reaper is a robot of course. It's just, you know, little touches like that makes the character go a long way. Um, also, if you guys did not know, Reaper was removed from Blackout due to a bug where its footsteps were silent. Um, but Reaper should be coming back here very, very soon to the game. But yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. Please tell me yours down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my other specialist guides as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I love y'all so, so much. I appreciate all the support on the channel and feedback you guys give me on Twitter and in the comments. Love y'all again. Till next time, I'll see you later.